So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. In today's class, we'll be talking about the PIB news from 3rd to 4th of May 2023. And there are some very, very important news today. Okay? I think in today's session, you will have a question to definitely come to your So uh, this session is very, very important. right? So let's talk about the very first question, which is about the Vivaad Sai Vishwas Relief for MSME Scheme. Yes. This scheme, I hope you guys remember this. This scheme was announced in budget 23-24 and now it has been officially launched by the Ministry of Finance. And yes, it has not been launched by the Ministry of MSME. Right? Please don't get confused by uh, this word MSME here. This scheme has been launched by the Ministry of Finance headed by Nirmala Sita Raman. Right? Now, as the name says, Vidwat Se Vishwas, relief for MSME, which means some kind of relief will be provided to the MSME under this particular scheme. Now, what type of relief is this? This scheme will provide relief to all MSMEs in all contracts for procurement of goods and services entered into by any ministry, any department, any attached office, any CPSC, any uh, public financial institution with that particular MSME. Now, I will tell you in short what, what kind of relief is this. So, basically, let's say in any MSME X entered into any kind of contract with any department. Let's say department is Y. This MSME X entered into any contract with this department Y and this department Y ne bola ki bhai, okay, we'll procure some kind of goods and services from you, right? But due to COVID-19 pandemic, this MSME had some working capital crisis due to which it was not able to supply the required goods and or services which were mentioned in the contracts, right? So, you defaulter. Okay, okay. So, this MSME ko relief provide karane ke liye, this scheme has been launched. Okay, I hope this is clear, right? There was a contract between X and Y. X is an MSME, Y is an uh, government department. And that contract, under that contract, Y was procuring some kind of goods or services from this MSME, but due to capital crunch or any other crunch due to uh, COVID 19 pandemic, this X was not able to fulfill the obligations under the contract. And now the Ministry of Finance will provide relief to this MSME. What kind of relief is this? We'll talk about it, right? Launch year, this year, 2023, now launch launched this Now, which MSME can take the benefits? Which MSME can take the benefits? Which benefit can take the Number one, that company, that MSME should be registered, of course, as an MSME as per the relevant scheme of the Ministry of MSME. Right. Number two, MSME could be registered for any service and any category of goods and services. Koi bhi category chalegi. And number three, the very important, the delivery period tha ya fir jo completion of project tha, completion of contract tha, the date should be between 19 to 2020, 19 February 2020 se leke 31 March 2022 and both dates are inclusive. Right. Both dates are inclusive. इसके बीच में अगर किसी गुड का डिलीवरी पीरियड था, if the delivery period was uh, between these two dates or the contract period was between these two uh, dates, both dates inclusive, then the time MSME will be eligible. Okay. Now under the scheme, what government, what the Ministry of Finance uh, has told to the other ministries that they will refund all the performance security, bid security and liquidated damages forfeited or deducted during the COVID-19 pandemic. Agar I have contract pura nahi kiya Bharat Sarkar ke saath, toh bhoat sari cheeze hain jo, jaysay liquidated damages hain, performance security hain, bid security hain, yeh sari cheeze wo forfeit kar lete hain, ki bhai, ab tumhye paisa wapas nahi milega. Thik hai? Toh wahi cheeze wapas ki jayengi. Toh 95% of the performance security forfeited jo ki gai hai, that shall be refunded by all the departments, all the agencies of government of India, 95% of the bid security shall also be refunded. 95% of the liquidated damages jo bhi hoye hai, us department ko, that shall also be refunded. 95% of the risk purchase amount, jo ki realize hua tha, that will also be refunded. And yes, in case, in case, any firm has been debarred, only due to default in execution of such contracts. Maan lo ki mein ek, again, this, this MSME X, it wasn't able to fulfill the obligation of that contract and it was debarred from continuing its, its, its company, its manufacturing, its services, right? So, this debarment will also be taken back. Such debarment, debarment shall also be revoked. Now, here, 
do remember one thing here you can see this word right only due to default in execution of such contracts which means if any msme is debarred from uh, functioning from uh, due to any other reason right due to any other reason then that department shall not be revoked theek hai to department kaun sa wala revoked hoga jo department uske upar hua tha because of failure because of unable to execute the uh, provisions of contract all right and yes very important ko interest nahi milega refunded amount ke upar ab theek hai yaar sarkar aapko uh, 95% of all these amounts de rahi hai ab us par refund uh, interest bhi agar mangoge to ये अच्छी और जायज बात नहीं होगी राइट सो वट इज द लास्ट डेट ऑफ सबमिशन ऑफ क्लेम थर्टी एट जून टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू फॉल्स अंडर दिस कैटेगरी और योर पेरेंट्स और योर नेबर और योर फ्रेंड्स कोई भी कैटेगरी में आता है सो द लास्ट डेट टेल देम दट द लास्ट डेट टू फाइल द क्लेम इज थर्टी एट जून टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड हाउ दिस स्कीम विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड वेयर दीज क्लेम्स हैव टू बी फाइल्ड सो गवर्नमेंट ई मार्केट प्लेस हैज डेवलप a dedicated web page for implementation of the scheme and all the eligible claims shall be processed only through the government e marketplace all right so this is how the scheme will be implemented i hope guys this scheme is clear very very important news for today so let's identify the correct statement now the scheme has been launched to provide relief to msmes which have defaulted in paying gst during covid period uh, no gst ke liye nahi hua hai ye hum sabko pata hai contracts को फुलफिल करने में अगर फेलियर हो गया था तो ऐसे एमएसएमई को रिलीफ प्रोवाइड कराया जाएगा इट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एमएसएमई नो आई टोल्ड यू इन द बिगिनिंग प्लीज डू नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज विद दिस वर्ड एमएसएमई इट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस एंड नॉट द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एमएसएमई द लास्ट डेट टू सबमिट द क्लेम्स अंडर 30 अंडर द स्कीम इज 30 जून ये सही बात है एंड अंडर द स्कीम मिनिस्ट्रीज हैव आल्सो बीन आस्ट टू रिफंड परफॉर्मेंस सिक्योरिटी बिट सिक्योरिटी एंड लिक्विडेटेड डैमेजेस यस ये बिल्कुल सही बात है थ्री एंड फोर विच मींस एंड वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो ओनली थ्री एंड फोर विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर एंड ऑलवेज ऑलवेज फोकस ऑन दिस वर्ड व्हेदर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट और इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज़ इन द ऑप्शंस यू विल ऑलवेज गेट बोथ बोथ थिंग्स करेक्ट वाला भी होगा इनकरेक्ट वाला भी होगा लाइक हियर यू कैन सी ओनली वन एंड टू इज आल्सो देयर so please aisi galtiyan mat karke aana exam mein it will cost you a lot it can cost your exam as well question number 2 which mobile app has been launched by the ministry of education for screening 21 disability conditions recognized in rpwd act rights of person with disability act of 2016 at the school level right remember guys the name of the app is prashast the name of the app is what prashast which stands for pre assessment holistic screening tool pre assessment holistic screening tool is the full form of prashast and it was launched last year in the month of september the portion maha 2022 right and this app will help in screening the 21 disability conditions which are mentioned in rpwd act of 2016 at school level right now is screening se kya fayda hoga so it will generate the school wise report and it will share with the other stakeholders which can provide benefits to those school children sharing with the authorities for initiating the certification process as per the guidelines of samagra shiksha and it has been developed by yes this is very important it has been developed by central institute of educational technology which is a unit of ncert all right so that is all about this and yeah the correct answer is option d prashast app question number 3 Again, an important question. Last year, Australia वाले uh, economic partnership से question आया था. This time, you never know. UAE वाला आ जाए because recently, India UAE Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement (CEPA) has completed one year of its implementation. ठीक है, so that's why it is in news. So let's talk about it. Then we will come back to the question. So India UAE Comprehensive Economic Partnership has completed one year. Uh, this this agreement this agreement was signed. On 18th February 2022, and it came into force on 1st of May 2022, and hence it has completed one year. Okay. <clears throat> on this day, 1st of May 2022, the first consignment of goods uh, comprising of jewelry products from India to UAE was flagged off, and that's and and hence uh, this partnership agreement came into force. All right. Now let's talk about the provisions of this partnership. Who is giving? Who is giving? India is giving. UAE is giving. So in the goods domain, 
यूएई हैज एलिमिनेटेड ड्यूटीज ऑन नाइनटी सेवन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ऑफ इट्स टेरिफ लाइन्स ऑन इंडियन गुड्स इंपोर्ट्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ इंपोर्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया ठीक है जो इंडियन इंपोर्ट है उसके ऊपर टेरिफ लाइन्स नाइनटी सेवन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ऑफ ऑल इंडियन इंपोर्ट्स वो हटा दिया है यूएस यूएई ने एंड इंडिया वॉट इंडिया हैज डन इंडिया हैज एलिमिनेटेड ड्यूटीज ऑन ओवर एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स टेरिफ लाइन्स ऑन गुड्स इंपोर्टेड फ्रॉम यू ए अगर इंडिया में कोई गुड यू ए से आता है तो उसके ऊपर एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स टेरिफ लाइन में ड्यूटीज हटा दी राइट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दीज टेरिफ लाइन आर ऑन द लेबर इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्रीज और सेक्टर्स लाइक ऑयल सीड्स एंड ऑयल्स कॉटन फिश एंड फिश प्रोडक्ट्स लेदर ज्वेलरी फार्मास्यूटिकल्स नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर दीज सेक्टर्स नॉट एट ऑल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द एग्जाम टॉकिंग अबाउट द सर्विस डोमेन सो आउट ऑफ टोटल वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सर्विसेज सब सेक्टर्स इंडिया हैज ऑफर्ड हंड्रेड सब सेक्टर्स टू द यू ए एंड यू ए हैज ऑफर्ड वन 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 सब सेक्टर्स टू इंडिया राइट एंड इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट दिस पार्टनरशिप विल इंक्रीज द ट्रेड बिटवीन दीज टू कंट्री ट्रेड इन गुड्स will be increased to over 100 billion dollar and trade in services will be increased to over 15 billion dollars within the 5 years all right so that is all about cepa and now let's come back to the question incorrect nikalna hai under it uae has eliminated duties on 97.4% of its tariff lines on indian goods imported yes under it india has eliminated duties on 95% of its tariff lines no 80% not 95% This is incorrect, which means option B will be the correct answer. Question number four. Again, an important question. It is about the National ST ST Hub Scheme. National ST ST Hub Scheme and the enrolled people also. Please answer soon now because one information has been added here, which was not in our comprehensive PDF. I have told you all before that from now on I will not be updating the government scheme PDF because as a result. Whenever I see any scheme, I found I found a, I found a new update. ठीक है, so I will not update that till the examination. Now you have to be updated through the PIB sessions. ये मैंने पांच बार, दस बार पहले भी बता चुका हूँ. Again today I am telling this. ठीक है, this is for the enrolled student. Okay. So a national S C N S T hub scheme launched in 2016 has crossed more than one lakh beneficiary registration, and that wise it is news. The scheme has been extended by the Ministry of M S M E. For the 15th Finance Commission period, not financial Finance Commission period, with an outlay of how much? This information has been recently provided by the government of India. ठीक है? कितना outlay है इसका? 438 crores. बस ये एक information जो enroll student है उनको add करनी है. यही बस छोटा सा update है. Rest of the things have been provided. All right. So let's talk about this scheme, National SC HST Hub scheme, which means some kind of hub. uh some kind of hubs are being established under the scheme now what these hubs are doing right kya kar rahe hain ye hubs these hubs are enhancing the capacity of sc st entrepreneurs and promoting entrepreneurship culture among the sc st population all right so basically it is an entrepreneurship development program for sc and st population all right and also the objective is to provide professional support to all the sc or st entrepreneurs to fulfill obligations under public procurement policy for msmes all right it was launched in the year 2016 but it has been continued for the 15th finance commission period with a total outlay of 438 crores okay now the beneficiaries of this a uh, scheme is the all are all scst mses right micro and small enterprises but what is the definition of this scst mses the definition is this number 1 That MSME shall be completely owned by SCST, right? In case, in case there is a partnership firm, then in case there is a partnership micro and small micro or small enterprise, then SCST partners must hold at least fifty one percent majority. Unka hona chahiye. While it is a case of private limited companies, again at least fifty one share must be held by SC or ST promoters. All right. आगे चलते हैं. the nodal ministry of course is the ministry of msme and yes the nodal agency to implement this scheme is nsic which is national small industries corporation limited right and these are the sub schemes which are providing support uh, to the scst entrepreneurs number one there is a special credit linked capital subsidy scheme 
for technology enablement right these scst uh, mscs are being provided with credit uh, linked capital guarantee uh, uh, capital subsidy not guarantee capital subsidy for their technological enhancement and advancement right number 2 special market assistance scheme for scst entrepreneurs through which the this scheme is marketing is helping these msmes mscs in marketing their products all right support for enhancing competitiveness through various reimbursement sub schemes or interventions and capacity building of existing and the upcoming or the aspiring scst entrepreneurs theek hai ji now what are the functions of these hubs maine aapko bataya tha ki hubs establish kiye ja rahe hain to unke detail function kya hai number 1 to encourage sc or st owned units to achieve 4% of total procurement of central or state governments जितने भी सेंट्रल और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट के प्रोक्योरमेंट होते हैं उसमें से चार परसेंट इनका हिस्सा हो ऐसा आ, ऐसा टारगेट है ठीक है टू फेसिलिटेट एस सी एस टी ऑन्टरप्रीनर्स टू बी पार्ट ऑफ विंटर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम टू बिल्ड कैपेसिटी ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग एंड प्रोस्पेक्टिव और एस्पायरिंग और अपकमिंग एस सी एस टी ऑन्टरप्रीनर्स एंड टू फेसिलिटेट क्रेडिट लिंकेजेस फॉर दी ऑन्टरप्रीनर्स हु आर इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ एस सी और एस टी ठीक है जी so that is all about this scheme and now let's come back to the question so what is the total outlay very easy question 438 crores option b is the correct answer and now guys let's move ahead to the questions in short which do not need much explanation because these are self explanatory but before that if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description and yes yes today 6 pm we have a government schemes revision class don't forget to attend it agar aapki preparation abhi tak achhi nahi chal rahi hai to aaj aapki preparation shaam ko 6 baje ke baad bahut achhi ho jayegi after attending this class theek hai ji so and yes if you want to waste the examination this year we have launched a crash course and in this crash course we have a special mentorship program bahut sare students ko iska fayda mila hai and agar aap bhi chahte hain to you can enroll in this course By visiting anujindal. dot in. Question number five. NTPC Limited has signed a supplementary joint venture agreement with uh, Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited to develop two pressurized heavy water reactor nuclear projects. Where these two projects will be located? So one will be at Chutka. One will be actually uh, Chutka Nuclear Power Plant. Chutka Nuclear Power Plant, which is in uh, Madhya Pradesh. and one is mahi baswara if i am not wrong that second one is the name is mahi baswara nuclear power project of rajasthan so these are the two places madhya pradesh and rajasthan one and three option c is the correct answer niti aayog has released a, a compendium which is best practices in social sector compendium 2023 in collaboration with which of the following agencies now what this compendium consists of this compendium basically uh, has lauded the effect the efforts of the union ministries and the state governments for their efforts made in the social sector right and it consists of 75 best case studies from every nook and corner of the country and these case studies uh, you know isme ye bataya gaya hai ki kaise hamari sarkaron ne uh, social sector ke area mein kafi acha kaam kiya hai and it has been developed in collaboration with united nation development program and that's why option b is the correct answer question number 7 the gross gst revenue collected in the month of april is highest ever and that's why i have picked this question generally i i don't pick uh, the monthly data but this is the highest ever in the month of april 2023 and exam is near so it can be asked so that's 1.87 lakh crores option e is the correct answer India's coal production has made again new record of highest production during the month of April. Again, it's a new record, and since the exams are uh, coming, I have picked this data. This 73.02 million ton, which is a new record for any month. Okay, 73.02 million ton. With which of the following PSUs, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, has signed an MOU for technical assistance for solid waste management and used water management for Uh, under swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 this psu is rights which is a psu under ministry of railways 
and rice will provide technical support through its technical support unit for a period of three years. तीन साल के लिए सपोर्ट दिया जाएगा ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन टू कनेक्ट द प्रोसेस ऑफ सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट एंड गंगा रिजुविनेशन विद लोकल पीपल एंड फार्मर्स एसपीपी सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट मेड अंडर नमामि गंगे तो बेसिकली कुछ नहीं है एसटीपी का दूसरा नाम ठीक है एसटीपी को क्या बोलते हैं नमामि गंगे प्रोग्राम के अंदर निर्मल जल केंद्र ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व विद विच ऑफ दॉलोइंग कंट्रीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इंडिया हेज साइंड एन एमओ यू ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट को ऑपरेशन विथ फोकस ऑन सेवरल की टेक्नोलॉजी एरिया लाइक एरोस्पेस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिविल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड इंजीनियरिंग कौन सी कंट्री के साथ किया है बताओ भाई जल्दी से बताओ द कंट्री इन क्वेश्चन इज इसराइल ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व वेर विल द सेकेंड मीटिंग ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन वर्किंग ग्रुप टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी थर्ड टू ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ में दिस मंथ होगी सेकेंड मीटिंग द फर्स्ट मीटिंग टूक प्लेस इन गांधीनगर गांधीनगर इज इन गुजरात एंड द सेकेंड वन विल टेक प्लेस इन मुंबई एंड आज ऑलरेडी यहाँ पे आंसर लिखे हुए थे मैंने ध्यान नहीं दिया भाई चीटिंग तो नहीं करी आप लोगों ने एंड येस चलो अब आज लिख दिया तो मैं बता देता हूँ सम पीपल ऑलवेज डिमांड दिस से दिस के आंसर नहीं देते आप भाई बॉटम राइट कॉर्नर पे हमेशा आंसर लिखा हुआ होता है इन योर पी डी जो आपको मिलती है टेलीग्राम पर ठीक है सो ऑप्शन सी मुंबई इज द करेक्ट आंसर All right, so that's it for today's class, and I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section, and I'll see you uh, today at 6 p.m. Government Schemes Revision Class. Till then, keep studying and keep studying hard. Goodbye, take care, and God bless.